Hello, this is Volker speaking and I want to give you a short introduction into using SAP PDM with the document management system of SAP and uh, today I want to show you an example for a bill of a material. Short explanation how this works. So SAP, you can store documents directly automatically created or manually via a so-called document info record and the protocol HTTP from SAP that enables to store documents to external content management systems, so in our case to Alfresco, via Conexus. So the bill of material is linked to a document info record and the document info record you can store n documents, so many documents, via the HTTP protocol to Conexus and Alfresco. On the Alfresco side then we have the document and we have metadata available which can be replicated from SAP calling a Java, uh, the Java connector and we get some information from the document info record or from the bill of material. This way of storing metadata we do typically via FrameXus. This is a framework that offers us to exchange flexible metadata, so meaning it's uh, possible to look what the customer is looking for, so which metadata should be replicated from the bill of material or the corresponding business object where the document is linked to via the Java connector. So a short demo how this works for the end user point of view. First of all, we open a bill of material. So this is done. Uh, uh, sorry, CV03. So you see that we open here a bill of material. And in this bill of material, in this case, we want to do a change because we want to add a document. So, sorry, first of all, we go here to the change mode of the bill of material. We see the line items or the items of this bill of material and we want to have a look for the documents. For example here for our main board we can check do we have any documents around right now in SAP. So this is information about the basic data and we look here for the document assignment. So currently there are no documents assigned. So with a single click here on create document we are forced to um, select uh, a document. So I have here PDM test document and important we have to choose the storage category. So where should at the end the document resides? So we choose Alfresco as the storage category behind Alfresco, uh, behind SAP. Now in the background the document has already been saved to Alfresco. You see here that we have created a new document or a new document info record. We can also uh, change now our um, bill of material and that's it. So you have seen for the end user it's only one click to store a doc or let me say two clicks. So create document and then choose the category Alfresco. So we are done here on the SAP side but let me just jump in or no let's let's first go to the Alfresco side and see what has happened. So we are here on the Alfresco side. When we connect SAP to Alfresco via Conexus, we have many options. Uh, we have the chance, for example, to run many SAP systems against one Alfresco. That's why we have separated different SAP systems here by different sites on the Alfresco side. Our demo system is the SAP, SAP Pay system. And here we can have a look to the document library where did this document that we stored right now arrive. So we have here a folder for SAP documents and you see this is exactly the document that we created right now. It is linked to SAP, we have the indicator, we can have a look inside the folder and here is the PDM test document that we created right now. And you can check some metadata right now, it's uh, only a, a small set of metadata but when we scroll down here 
we see that we have SAP properties available. It's linked to SAP. It's the archive or the content repository and the archive ID. And you have seen that we replicated right now only the name. Obviously, we can have here many other metadata that we can replicate um, via frame access. So there we have to set up the system accordingly that the metadata is replicated for each document um, which the customer is looking for. So we have seen here now the alfresco site and we can of course manage these documents on the alfresco site with all these uh, capabilities we have. Let me go back to the SAP side, just uh, to not forget this one. Of course, we can um, we can display this document again. So we want to check this document again, and wanna in this case we, we just have to display. Sorry, we display <coughs> this bill of material. We go back again here on our um, l um, item of the. Bill of, of the bill of the material, we check here our document R. Uh, we can display the document obviously directly here in the screen. So we have seen the document, how it is displayed here in this case the Word document. And we also can have a look, of course, to the document info record that has been created in the background. So we see here we are now in the document info record. We can also go here to the change mode and say this is a test alfresco via Conexus. 